Coming to you live today from Chesterfield Soul Cave. Hey guys, so excited. Another great week here. Lots of great stuff in this video. Watch all the way through the end. Before the video is done, we're gonna have an opportunity to win a pair of PSG Jordan sevens and we're going to give away another item in the comments so stay tuned we had the uh grand opening for the west county store this weekend i pulled out the off-white dunks somebody saw them on my feet and was like i gotta have some of those <laughs> bottom right out of the grail case oh yeah i think he came in here too at chesterfield yeah. Got some, uh, I think he got some ones or some dunks or something here too. That store was banging this weekend. Crazy. Woo! Crazy. Hey, I remember we, I don't know if you could, maybe Mark could show you like a remix of what happened when we had like Black Friday weekend, cause that was crazy. This shelf was empty, all Air Force One. We had no Jordan ones, like nothing. And then there was a couple of our hot sellers that we didn't have at all. So we were like literally calling the plug and we're buying shoes out of the back of his trunk of his car in like, $5,000 increments. Right, right. This put that shit to shame, I'll tell you right now. This was nuts. So it kind of like, it was weird because we were all kind of like, because we don't really know what to expect. We haven't been in that mall. So we get all excited. We were going to have Saturday grand opening. Mark's there, DJ's there. DJ Electric. DJ Electric in the house. And it's just slow. It's just like, okay, well, what's going on here? Yeah. We opened a little too early. We realized that traffic doesn't start coming in until about 11, 12. Then Mark left, and all hell broke loose. <laughs> Usually how it goes. DJ Electric leaves, and then all of a sudden, it was like the gates opened, yeah, and gates. it was a flood of people in that store, and it was just nonstop. So then we thought, okay, well, Saturday was really good. So we're like, oh, okay, cool, Saturday was good. Boom, boom, we're all good. Then Sunday erupts. So yeah. I called in Jacob, so we have a new kid, Jacob, that's actually right. Riley's brother. And I actually just called him in on a whim. I wasn't like, he's trying to train, so I'm like, we're gonna have him train on Sunday. Thank God, because I was like, holy crap. It was me, Rebecca, you, Jake. and Jacob. And Jake's <laughs> trained now. I'm Jacob, yeah, he got yeah. thrown into the wolves. He's like, we're trained up yeah, here. Go good. help customers. He's good. I, I like literally looked at my watch, because we open on Sundays at 11, uh, I think 10, 45. 12. Yeah, we open at 11 or 12. Yeah. And then we're, we're open until six, so it's a shortened day. That day exceeded Saturday by a lot. It was like almost double, right? Yeah, I mean like first like two, three hours, we were like, really? Yeah. <laughs> like it was like, we knew a lot of people were checking pairs out, but like, unless you're keeping track and like going and checking like what we're at, you're just like, oh, we've only sold like a couple pairs maybe. But if you go and check, you're sometimes you're just like, oh really? Yeah, we're 17, 20 pairs down and we're like, oh, it's two o'clock. And we're like, Jesus. And so we're just yeah. selling shoes all day. And then if you looked at our Instagram stories, we're posting, it was you know, cash outs person, and all the stuff. Person, person. person, Yeah, it was nuts. It was awesome though, getting to see like all new people, get people their first pairs of Jordans. Yeah. A lot of people haven't seen like a store like this or anything. But they were pretty happy to yeah. see us. And then this store was doing well too. This yeah, store, this Riley, store was going crazy. Riley was here with Cameron and he said they were just crushing it over here as well. So two stores, Christmas is coming, Super Bowl of retail, and uh, we're ready. New segment every week. Sleeper shoe <laughs> with Ryan. Good. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, yeah. You like that? This week's selection for sleeper shoe is the Jordan 1 Starfish, preferably in men's sizes. So sizes 8 through 13. Um, We've kind of been buying those. These are kind of a shoe that we look at as an opportunity to buy at a low right now and then sell at a high at a later date. Comes with three sets of laces, black, orange, and white. It's uh, built off of a shattered backboard kind of identity where it was like, if you guys remember that, it was like a uh, Jordan 1 high that was like orange and black and had some white mixed in. I don't know why they called this the Starfish and didn't call it a Jordan 1 Low Shattered Backboard, but they didn't. So 
This is a shoe that Riley, Britton, I have identified as something that we want to buy a lot of, hold if we have an opportunity to hold. I'm not big into hold, and we'll do another segment about that again, but they are a shoe that you buy now. If you have an opportunity to hold, hold, and then flip for a higher amount down the road, because this is a shoe that's going nowhere but up, in our opinion. So, sleeper shoe of the week. It's fire. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're trying to grow our subscribers on Instagram, we're trying to get to 2,500 by a Sunday night at 12 a.m. And we're gonna be giving away a pair of these PSG Jordan 7s. All you gotta do is literally just follow us. If we get to 2,500 subscribers, we will be giving this shoe away for free. All you gotta do is follow. Sell us your shoes. We need shoes. DM, Instagram. DM, Soul Instagram. Instagram. Soul Cave SEL, email. Uh, Facebook. Whatever you wanna do, get a hold of us <laughs> and we will buy your shoes. We, we literally need shoes. Right? Brand new, brand new shoes. Only brand new shoes. We don't buy used shoes. Don't bother sending us a bunch of emails of your shoes that have been worn and played with on the playground <laughs> or taken to the beach okay. or whatever you did with them. We don't want those. No stain cast shoes. We only sell new DS shoes. When you come in here, you're gonna buy a brand new pair of shoes. One of our customers comes in, wants to sell us a pair of Adidas Easy Oats. So we'll have these for the store, size 10 and a half. Um, him and I were able to make a deal and we'll get him his money. Appreciate it. And you're all good, man. Appreciate, Appreciate you, man. Thanks Thank you. Here, man. Appreciate you. you. Sell us your shoes. We're buying shoes every single day. Bring them in. We'll cash you out. All right, guys, new segment, Ryan or Riley. So what we're gonna do this week is we're gonna have a draft. Ryan or Riley, we're gonna pick three shoes each in the store only, right? Yeah. You got first pick because I gave you first pick because you the man. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go draft style. He's gonna pick three shoes and then I'm gonna pick three shoes, but it goes, the way it works is he gets first pick, I get next two, he gets the following two, and then I get the last pick. Then we're gonna show up the shoes that said, who made the better options? Who picked the better shoes? Let's go. Let's, Let's do go. it. All right, guys, new segment this week. Got Ryan or Riley. This week, basically, we picked the lineup. We chose three shoes, only we're allowed one from the grail case. We're gonna leave it up to you guys in the comments to decide but who you chose the best three. You the first pick. You gave me the first pick. That's right. All right, okay. so here, with the first pick, straight from the grail case, the Travis Scott SBs. And you know, I mean, it speaks for itself, you know, truthfully. The pink swoosh on the inside. Mm. It's too nice. Why don't you show them what, what you are, got? What do those cost? Uh, around 2K. Yeah, okay, 22, cool. yeah. Around there. Next, my first pick was the Jordan 4 UNC colorway Travis Scott, right? Yeah, it's Cactus Jack. Cactus Jack. Mm -hmm. With the uh, blue, black Oreo look, right? Is that mm -hmm. what they call that Oreo? Yeah, you get a little speckle paint. Speckle too. paint. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, got the Cactus Jack tag. They've been certified with Sneaker Con. Double certified. Look at that. Oh, stock eggs. Double certified. Oh. So, it's a beautiful shoe. With the number two pick. No, it's my, it's my third pick. I got right, two right, picks. Right, right. I'm jumping why, the gun. Why are you jumping, jumping the, gun the gun here, dog? Right, go ahead, go ahead. I forgot, I got two right. picks. Hey, I got, we serpentine the draft. That means it goes one, two, three, and then back to you, okay? Yeah. Or you would've picked this one too. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is the Mocha. Jordan 1 Mocha. Hot fire shoe. <laughs> because, <laughs> because it's about the closest thing that most people are ever gonna get to a Jordan 1 Travis Scott mm -hmm. without the backwards Nike symbol. And the colorway pink. is just mm. very cool. Throw some pink laces in those? Yeah, they're fire. Come so, on out. Yep. Come grab you a pair. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of adult pairs. We're buying this shoe actively. If you got one, sell it to us. All right, let's get back to the good stuff. Oh yeah. Second choice, UNC Dunks. Don't tell me you don't like this shoe because I know you're lying. It's too nice. You know, out of the Dunk collection I've got, probably wear these the most. I mean, 
and I'll wear them with anything. Any day, here's rainy, the, here's no the, rain. Here's the issue. If Riley can wear the shoe, then why, why would it be something that anybody else would want? It's like, it's not a desire shoe. You already have it. Nobody has the first two shoes I, shoes I picked. All right, fine. All right, we'll go with it. And everybody I mean, has I don't think this everybody has these. This is like a run of the mill. Like, I mean, if you're, if All right, you're a banger. Here, okay. Put it this way. We were selected to choose three shoes that we thought were the best, slash our favorites. I went with what I liked, you know, my favorite color, UNC blue. Got family in North Carolina, you know, I gotta rep the, the Tar Heels, you know? Oh, I mean, wow. it's too nice. Now you just pissed off every Duke fan we have on YouTube. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Well, I went outside the box because I'm an outside the box thinker. This is the Skeletor, <laughs> Easy Skeletor, Foam composite. This is a banger. I would never wear it though. Would you wear this? Hey, bro. So honestly, I'm gonna break it down for you guys. The Easy 450 Cloud White's just something different. Um, I've heard a lot of different names for these. I've heard the Baby Back Ribs. That yeah, one, I call them Skeletors. Yeah, I mean, I see what you're saying. It, it literally fits like a sock to the next level. Like Easy 350s fit kind of like, you know, mold to your foot, but this is just. Would you wear it? Be honest. No, I, I wouldn't be able to pull it off, but that's just me. I mean, maybe maybe it would look good, but personally me, I don't think I could pull it off. I have seen people wearing them though, and they, they do look, look good. good. I don't know, I thought it would be something different because when I went through my thought process, I was like, get some shoes that I don't have, or I only have one pair of these. I have the Mocha's, right? I think I've un ds them though. No. I haven't? Mm -hmm. I think I, I laced them up for you and you never wore them. I don't think I've worn them yet. But I try to pick shoes that I don't have. Whereas on Riley's thing, that's my Travis Scott SB, right? <laughs> so the other two I already have. Well, I don't even, I would never wear the Carolina dunk. Come on, it's These a dunk. Of stepping out that way. It's like a fake dunk. It's not even a real dunk. We're an SB dunk. That's a fake dunk. All right, guys, since Ryan's talking all that bullshit, uh, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. You know, leave a comment, let us know. I mean, whether it's we picked your favorite pairs or we picked the shoes that you'd wear every single day. You let us know, we'd love to hear it. And uh, who knows? I don't really care what you say to us. I just wanna know if Ryan or Riley was better. Whose three <laughs> shoes were better? Because once I get the bragging rights, I got you. I don't think so. I got we'll you. see, I'll leave it up to you guys. I wanted to address the issue with SneakerCon Boston. Obviously, we love the event, and we had every every single part of me wanted to go, and every person on my staff wanted to attend. But with two stores now, plus Fan Cave, and everything else we have going on, getting ready for holiday season, it just became a big, huge issue in terms of staffing and our ability to get there. But we're looking forward to seeing everyone soon. We do miss those events, and we're looking forward to attending in the future. It's just right now we just cannot attend this this one this week. So I know brief, previously I stated that we were going to attend, and again, we we really wanted to go. I mean, I love that event. I love cashing out those events. We just could not attend this week. Hey everyone at SneakerCon, I hope you guys have a great time. I'm sure that event's going to be off the chain. I'm sure you guys are going to just be cashing out, buying personals, buying inventory for the holidays. Just have a great time. What's up guys? We're doing a giveaway, per usual. We're gonna be giving away at a rejuvenator cleaning kit. It's the big one, it's a $50 one. Show you what's in, in it. We got a rejuvenator microfiber wipe. We got a laundry bag, so you can clean the Yeezys, throw them in there. They won't get snagged on like the sides of the washer or anything. Super helpful though. Then we've got three brushes. We've got a soft bristle brush, a, another medium soft bristle brush, and then we have kind of a hard bristle brush. Then you got the rejuvenator cleaner. It's just like a cleaning solution. Just put a couple drops in some hot water, use the brushes, and then you got the shoe trees. Just put these in the shoes that you're wearing. Help keep them a little bit less creased over time. And we will be giving all of this stuff away. All you gotta do is go back and make sure that you watch the segment, Ryan or Riley. 
They pick some shoes. You just got to comment who you think won, who had the best draft. Just make sure you go back and watch that. Comment who you think won, and then we'll be going through, picking a comment, seeing who gets this. All right, you guys ready for the joke of the week? This is the first time every week I'll come to you with a new joke. No, don't promise that. I'm going to promise them. I'm going to come to you with a new joke. All right, what does a 60-year-old man and a Christmas tree have in common? Mark, you have any guesses? I, I don't have any guesses. The wood is dead, and the balls are just for decoration. Thank you guys for tuning in this week. We really appreciate it. Just make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and the bell. Make sure you tune in next week. How's the lights, Bear Bob? Like it. We need a thousand subscribers. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button. You might want a pair of lightnings. And maybe, your size. Maybe, and maybe, just maybe, Britton will throw in another pair on his own dime. Okay. All right, so two <laughs> pairs of lightnings. No. Two pairs of lightnings when we hit a thousand subscribers. Hurry up and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe, yeah. subscribe. Official? subscribe. official. Britton's buying a pair of lightnings for one of our subscribers. Hey, gotta do it to him sometimes. You gotta do it, right? Gotta do it. All right, deal's done. All right.